Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're taking like a Dollar Tree action figure. Uh, I think I put this on the channel before, but I'm ready to do like a review of uh, what I think about these. I know they're cheap, Dollar Tree. I saw some older reviews about these, and like they're really complaining about stuff. I, I don't get it. Um, we're going to go through the mold and what people complain about and what I think is good about them. We got the military action figure. It's actually what it says. And I thought they had no name. They all have the same name. It's uh, John D. Smith on the dog tags right there. Like I said, from Dollar Tree. Looks like nothing at all in the package. Some, some standard art there. You can see he has a machine gun and a rucksack. So let's pop them open. So I have seen worse than these. People complain about the face mold. This mold is fine. So it's a little uh, extra black paint on the nose from the glasses. He has a, uh, a headset for comms. His vest looks pretty good. So the articulation is very limited on these. It's just arms from the shoulder and legs. You get about that much. No knee bends, no elbow joints. So, what's kind of good about that is you don't have that gear right there, that little screw. So, you know, two screws on the back, pulling those tack vest in. So, the camo is a little bit odd. It seems like it's a mix between the early 2000s, maybe digital, and the 90s BDU patterns. Now let's see what's on this guy. He has his tack vest, some odd looking gear, lots of pouches. On the back, he has a walkie. He gave him gloves, that's, that's a good idea. He has a sidearm on the front of his, his leg. I'm sure it should be right there, but that's his nitpicking. And I think those have be ammo pouches. So the boots, standard brown. The color scheme is okay. I mean, with the black sunglasses, brown gloves, brown boots, brown gear. Let's head move. Yep, you got a little bit of tickets in the head. So for a dollar, this is pretty good. I'm sure a G.I. Joe is probably like five bucks. People did actually like the accessories that came with these, so they look pretty good. Some decent amount of detail in there. Got a large scope. I made it black so it looks real. His rucksack here. Got binoculars. Got a hatchet. Canteen. So that's a. A pretty good rucksack. Goes on the back. And then here. Alright, that's a little bit of a problem. So people would get all up in arms about this, right? Because it doesn't doesn't fit very well. All you gotta do is take it like a knife, shave it down a little bit. I'm sure it'll fit just fine. Which I may do. So but threw it out of the box. Uh, it's going to be a little annoying because you don't really want to have to modify things if you don't have to. But it does technically go on there. And the detail is okay. I think maybe the brown should match his boots and gloves, but it is what it is. Kind of impressed with the hat. It's got a little bit of detail to it. It's got some like wrinkles in it. Let's see how it stands. Alright, stands fine. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So another main complaint I heard or saw was the weapons do not go in the hands properly. 
so it's kind of the case. And he's still holding it. But, I mean, G.I. Joe's some have that problem as well. So you gotta take the, sh the stock if you can. You can't turn his hands though, so that's, that is an issue. So there you go. I might front weight him. Oh, he's fine. So I don't see anything wrong with these guys. This one's pretty good. I guess I have seen worse um, uh, face sculpts. This one has done better, I guess. So I have a couple more to go through. But this is. Well, not really a heavy gun with that kind of scope, but it is. So that's a little odd, I guess. That is the M249 saw. Heavy machine gun, but like I said, that scope threw me off a little bit. So the guns usually similar to like things in real life. The other guys like a like an MP5 and um, I think a saw. Kind of like a standard Colt there. Actually, I think that sidearm might be the Sig P320, also known as the M17 or M18, and fires a nine millimeter round. Uh, 45. So yeah, I mean it's a buck. Let's go ahead and go over the other one. All right, the second one we have, maybe more like a recon SF guy. Here's the, here's the MP5 I was talking about. The MP5A2 uses 9mm pistol ammunition and shoots 800 rounds per minute, which is about 13 rounds per second. Some kind of crossbow. So I think this is the one that I popped them before. I didn't give him too much thought, too much thought. <laughs> so I saw people really complaining about him. I was like, Ooh, I mean, you gotta give some leeway at the Dollar Tree, I think. So it looks like he's set up to hold the gun this way. So that's a little, I have to hollow that out. Well, you can set it in there. Place that rest with it, I guess. See if we'll stand up with it. Looks like the pistol grip is a little too big for the action figure. So all you would need to do is just maybe just take a knife, kind of cut some of that plastic down, and then it should fit fine. So yeah, so use that as a club. Just when you're out of ammo. Anyway, so that's a good idea of how much you're gonna need to whittle down though. So it needs to be about like that to fit it in there. Alright, let's look at this guy. He has the same camo as the other guy near Bo John D. Smith. So this face got a little worse, I think because this guy had the benefit of having sunglasses, just threw them all in there. He does have Comms, that's good. That's a hat, looks okay. Uh, head movement, a little bit. So, of course, the same amount of articulation, shoulders, legs, a little stiff on this guy. His tag vest has a lot of pouches. Man, that's a lot of pouches. Okay, he's got a, got a belt here. More pouches, more pouches, and the sidearm is actually on the side of his leg, so that's better. He gets tread on his boots, this guy does not. Stands up fine. Probably have the same problem with the backpack. No, oh, this guy, his backpack. It's just fine. And it's flush. So weigh him down too much? No. And on here we have grenades, doculars, crossbow scoped. That's right. The average crossbow shoots at 300 feet per second. Pretty nice. I think maybe they made the stock too long on this one. Yeah. So you just gotta Shave that down a little bit. So I think this is probably interchangeable. Put it on this guy. 
No, the problem is this guy. That's a, that's too, too small right there. So this won't even fit. So that would be a, a complaint, a legitimate complaint. So I can dress right dress a little bit here. Like I said, these aren't bad at all. I mean, yeah, they're not bad at all. I don't think so. There's a bigger series with less um, detail. Like these vests are done pretty good. Well, this guy's vest is done pretty good. This pouch, this pouch vest is ridiculous. All right, there you have some military action figures from the Dollar Tree.